Hi everyone, I'm Fus Mohamed Shaf with you. Uh, today our main subject is about uh, cooling uh, or heating system uh, by the use of uh, geothermal uh, power uh, for heat pump, which is uh, represented as uh, a vapor compression uh, refrigeration cycle. Uh, first of all, I would like you uh, to like, share, and subscribe uh, to uh, our YouTube channel. Okay, uh, for our system, it's uh, first of, of all open your MATLAB and then go to your destination folder from this path from here. Don't open your model from desktop, just go to your destination, copy your model to your uh, main working folder, then go to your working folder. This is my main working folder, so and this is my model. Clicking here, and I found this. But first, click here, sort by name and group by type to organize um, uh, each uh, model. Okay, this is dynamic one, and this is uh, our main model. Drag and drop here. Okay, this is main cycle. So we have here geothermal power and. Uh, uh, the aim of this cycle is to power uh, vapor cooperation as a heat pump and by passing the stream from geothermal energy we can uh, go for uh, another um, application as a heating for cooling the cycle uh, the main working fluid will or should be pumped to uh, so the two valves and going to the evaporator unit uh, and then extracting the heat and go going then going for cooling okay for, and this is our uh, heat pump vapor compression cycle uh, uh, under winter operating conditions okay so we need uh, not to operate the evaporator or vapor compression cycle this the cycle will shut uh, off and uh, for heating the heating stream which is uh, this one dashed uh, is going for heating and then uh, the, um, the return stream, which is dash, this dash line, we're returning back to the thermal wheel for uh, this closed cycle. In case of cooling, we have also a return stream uh, from the cooling side, from the application side, in order to be repumped again. The main vapor cooperation cycle uh, is uh, working fluid is R1000. Uh, 270 uh, 70, uh, working float for the owner. Okay, uh, let's go inside. Okay, here. Okay, let's go inside. This is our main cycle here. Set your simulation time to zero. Emphasize. Okay, so uh, first of all, you have to specify your uh, main uh, inputs. Let's check here if I double click. Is there any? Okay, nothing here. And uh, I would like to um, assign my main input uh, parameter for each unit. Let's begin from the geothermal well, this one, double clicking. So I would like to assign uh, ambient temperature. This is for, uh, uh, for example, this is for exergy analysis. Not really important for, to us. Okay. A steam pipe diameter. What is your steam pipe diameter in inch? Okay, you can you have to specify this uh, well depth so this well depth uh, is responsible for uh, the temperature variation along the system uh, for for cooling or for heating uh, for based on my experience I would like to assign uh, maybe some or something like uh, intermediate temperature so I will dig down to the well by um, 700 meters in order to gain a uh, moderate temperature which is which can be uh, responsible for or suitable for uh, uh, seasons uh, along the year okay let's hit okay and bombing unit we need to assign also uh, ambient temperature for exergy analysis bombing efficiency nothing more uh, evaporator unit we need to um, uh, okay, what is your uh, refrigeration uh, evaporator temperature um, for our um, uh, 1270? Uh, we can work uh, down to minus 60, but 
there's no need for this this is for user application not for <clears throat> i'm sorry not for refrigeration so we, we just need one or zero something like this uh, effectiveness it's about uh, um, 80 percent usually uh, coil temperature i'm sorry coil diameter inner coil uh, diameter outer coil diameter should be point 016 I think a number of passes through the evaporator suppose it's a large size uh, hot water uh, flow velocity normally 1.5 to 2.5 uh, meter per second okay and hit apply here okay uh, unit number four is our compressor we don't need to assign anything here okay uh, compressor efficient okay nothing here condenser condenser like evaporator we have to assign condensation temperature uh, cooling water temperature uh, which is uh, responsible for uh, the cooling down your condenser okay maybe uh, 25 a condenser effectiveness I think it's about 70 75 80 uh, let it be 75 uh, uh, cooling side flow velocity okay the same inner tube diameter okay uh, outer cooling water side the inner tube diameter because uh, cooling water is uh, should be uh, flowing inside or through inside uh, the tubes uh, outer tube diameter number of passes then we have fouling factor okay uh, expansion valve nothing here I think okay an application suppose I would like to go for cooling okay all you have to do is to adjust one click here and select between cooling and or heating you can switch between cooling or, or heating so for cooling I suppose for application to assign my cooling load okay what is your cooling or application load okay your application load okay and uh, uh, inlet air temperature that you are going to cool down suppose ambient temperature is about uh, maybe uh, 35 degrees Celsius very hot and uh, my target temperature should be 16 degrees Celsius I think and um, uh, uh, heating uh, if there is fan inside the application suppose it's uh, a fan efficiency 0.85 let it be and we have heat exchanging between the medium suppose it's 80 percent a tube diameter for the duct to the building okay the duct type is it circular duct shape or a square duct shape okay and hit apply and hit apply and okay let's saving and hit run and see so we organize our model then let's go inside here so let's go for your similar you can extract these these results as you can see here uh well temperature um, as the temperature of um, the hot water outside from the well is about 42 degrees celsius well depth uh, by diameter the pressure uh, will hit pressure pressure losses through the tube silica contaminations or concentrations some exergy analysis thermal power okay uh, for pumping unit we this is our main pump pumping power uh, output uh, water temperature from the pump because uh, there is a pump here okay so it is it's about 42 degrees Celsius and it's a little bit raised up normal 42.7 degrees Celsius bombing in Salpi some exergy results and for evaporator okay okay this is our evaporator because the application is cooling so we need uh, uh, to uh, discover result from the evaporator unit let's see here mass flow rate of your refrigerant uh, cooling uh, shield, shield water uh, flow rate 
uh, water should be about 9 degrees Celsius. So uh, we dropped the temperature from 42, um, from 42 degrees Celsius down to 9 degrees Celsius. Okay. And this is steam quality through the fiber combustion cycle, thermal power, con evaporator area, and tubelet. The same for condenser and salby temperature, uh, uh, compressor, I'm sorry. Uh, outlet superheat temperature is 50 degrees Celsius, power of your compressor. Okay, and this is your mass flow rate. Condenser, okay. Uh, outlet cool, cool down temperature. Um, okay, and condenser cooling water mass flow rate. The condenser power area, number of tubes. Uh, lens uh, overall heat transfer coefficient okay expansion valve the same the, uh, the same uh, the output is considered a little bit the same for uh, the output Let's, uh, I would like to adjust this okay and for application let's see our application okay uh, this is application hot water this should be returned back to your geothermal uh, well okay and air mass flow rate okay mass flow rate through the duct and velocity air velocity uh, i'm sorry this is okay this, this is cooling uh, hot water to, uh, mass flow rate is uh, 10 kilogram per second I, I would like to check through the evaporator here okay okay let's go for the, okay and the thermal power through the uh, for, for the building and uh, um, uh, we have here uh, fan this is your fan power in, in kilowatt okay uh, suppose i would like to um, go for heating now i would like to change let's uh, change this for heating so I would like to swap or reverse my uh, my system. I would like to reverse my system. So um, inlet air temperature, suppose I have uh, the outlet air temperature is about, for example, 15 degrees Celsius. And I would like to warm the place uh, up to uh, maybe uh, 25 degrees Celsius, for example. Uh, let's see. I, I'd like to examine this saving and let's see here Okay for Okay, the system uh, is swapped. So everything is has reversed. Okay reversed to uh, This is outlet temperature uh, Through the, the to the well water temperature turn it back to the well. Let's see for uh, um, inlet water temperature okay so this is your inlet water temperature coming directly from the pump uh, the vapor there is no vapor compressor cycle zero okay there is no result here even in compressor no result the compressor is completely shut down and uh, even the condenser suspension rub everything there is no uh, the cycle is has um, stopped and we should uh, directly uh, bump bump the, the flow rate from the thermal well uh, to the application for uh, heating purposes okay so suppose i would like to uh, let's go for a little bit dynamic i would like to run this um, uh, to be self-controlled uh, i just tried to create my own uh, you can do many things for this, but uh, this is my recommendation. All I have to do is to create a signal in order to switch the system between uh, um, only two seasons. I, I just uh, uh, suppose that. Uh, so I clicking, uh, I clicked here and suppose I have this one, month number one, which is January and this is from January to the uh, to uh, towards December, so I then uh, I have here 12 months. 
suppose I, uh, I, I would like to switch between a winter feeling and a summer feeling. Therefore, I ordered my switch to be for go for heating purposes uh, from month number one, which is January to May. This is uh, May, month number five, okay? And then the switch will go for, because the switch is zero one, um, okay? Zero means cooling, one means uh, heating, okay? So, and during summer season, okay, summer season, spring and, and summer, we should um, running our system under uh, cooling uh, purposes. Therefore, I a little bit adjusted my depth. It should be constant. It can be, it can be constant, but I, uh, this is my depth between one kilometer depth and I think this is uh, 0.5 kilometer. Uh, we can uh, rise this little bit. Suppose it's 0.6 kilometers. Let's increase the temperature. Okay. Okay. I see. And um, so I created this signal for outlet air uh, temperature. Uh, I suppose that this is a behavior or average behavior for the temperature of your ambient. Uh, based on a just imaginary curve uh, in order to run the system and you can create your own system or you can uh, copy your uh, actual data into this uh, signal builder and you can use it for your location and this is my target uh, during uh, uh, winter so I need a little bit heating until uh, May so this is uh, for cooling okay and then heating back again and this is my application load i suppose that i i would like to change the load between uh, there is no load for uh, as you can see no load for vapor cooperation okay let's see if i i try to run this system along with 12 months it's supposed to give us uh, a curve Let's see. Okay, running time May, June, July, August, September. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Let's go in here. Uh, but first of all, be sure to send your result to data inspector. I think I forget to send my result to data inspector. It should be sent to data inspector, as I think. Okay, okay, let's see here if. If you click here, you can realize, okay, this is a refrigerant mass flow rate. Okay, there is no load during, uh, uh, during uh, uh, winter. Okay, and this for at the beginning of your summer, there is load is increasing, uh, cooling water flow rate. Okay, I think steam quality. Okay, steam quality because zero, and then uh, during summer, evaporator power it should take the same behavior. Okay, let's see if I what compressor power. Okay, the same behavior. We can uh, put compressor power and evaporator power. This is compressor power and uh, this is your evaporator power and compressor power. I think this is. Uh, Okay, and so on. So you can uh, control your uh, uh, your result based on your uh, signal for along the year, and you can examine your cycle uh, if you would like. I suppose I, let's go for your thermal energy. Okay, this is well temperature. It's about. Uh, I forget to uh, send my result to data inspector. So all you have to do is to. Uh, highlight your signal and click here and uh, click on it in order to send it to data inspector and this, the same for this one you should send all of this data to data inspector in order to examine or to draw your figures if you uh, if you would like uh, finally i would like to thank you very much for your interest in our model don't forget to 
لائک شیئر اینڈ سبسکرائب تھینک یو ویری مچ